All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, before I get going here on this video, I've got like three CDs I'm going to showcase. Here is Super Vintage Guardians of Tradition, brand new album, came out last year. Here's Super Vintage uh, Rock and Roll for Your Soul and also Super Vintage and Destiny is the name of this one. This is a Southern rock band from Greece. Okay, makes no sense, right? They do sound a little bit like the Almond Brothers, so you want to check them out, courtesy of Grooveyard Records. I've come to the conclusion that um, there are a lot of bands in uh, various countries, European countries, South America, all over the place, and um, these bands like old school American music, and they pay tribute to that sound, uh, whether it's melodic rock, whether it's um, jam band style music or blues rock. Um, Super Vintage is a great example of that. And it's a little depressing that the American music scene has kind of gone dark in so many ways when it comes to classic rock. I mean, authentic classic rock, not Pearl Jam, sorry, <laughs> not um, Five Finger Death Punch. No, <clears throat> that's not classic rock. And I guess a few of us could debate that, but I'm just, I'm not into it. I, and I'll just stick with my old man ways here and say that classic rock uh, as a genre here in the United States is dying, but there is a way to save classic rock. And uh, super vintage, they sound a bit like the Almond Brothers. The Almond Brothers as a band, though, is kind of no more. And I stumbled across this really good article, and I wanted to um, talk about the article a little bit because I think they figured out a good way to save classic rock. So there's this um, talent agent by the name of C.J. Strzok who worked with a later incarnation of the Allman Brothers Band. And he said he faced an unusual dilemma as seen in catalog and merch sales, a market still existed for the Allman Brothers, as well as their quintessentially Southern rock and roll and their improv live shows. But the band itself didn't exist. They formally gave their last performances in 2014 and Greg Allman died of liver cancer just three years later. So your brand is pretty much toast. But Strzok had an idea, uh, and he wanted to recruit new fans into the band's fan base. And he wanted to create a new version of the Allman Brothers. He reached out to musician clients who were familiar with the songs or who had some connection to the band but were never actually in it. Thus was born, now get this, I love the way they did this. Um, the Allman Brothers Band presents Trouble No More. Now, if you're familiar with the Almonds, you know Trouble No More is one of their more famous earlier songs. Uh, it's billed uh, on concert tickets and posters. This is a multiracial eight-piece ensemble that plays the band's repertoire, but this is where it's good. Thanks to the approval of the Allman Brothers estate, isn't just a tribute band. In fact, they played their first show at New York's Beacon Theater, which is a venue synonymous with the original Almonds and their longstanding residency. So again, folks, this is the way to save classic rock. Uh, Strzok goes on to say, I don't want to give everyone this idea. <laughs> The reason he doesn't want to give everyone this idea is because it's a really good idea. He says, the model we created here is awesome. It's taking the songbook from the original band, which is beloved, and putting players in the mix who are decades younger. Okay, this solves the geezer rock band problem. We still feel there's a brand out there. And this is really important. So rather than trashing the brand, <laughs> rather than arguments ensuing, rather than listening to some guy who can't sing anymore, 
or who looks really rough on stage, they've fixed the problem here. This is the future of classic rock. And the article goes on. It says, age, death, and retirement have taken their tolls in classic rock, leaving many heritage groups like the Rolling Stones, the Who, the Eagles, the Temptations, Leonard Skinner, Steely Dan, and many others with only one or two founders in their lineups. In many of those cases, the audiences are still there. Amen. Eager to hear the hits and see a legendary band on stage, no matter who's in the lineup. The Stones, Eagles, and Dead and Company were in the top five grossing tours of 2021, pulling in a combined $225 million. Well, part of that is older people have more disposable income. It's just a fact. So I think this is the way forward. Now, this band Trouble No More, they have a few videos that are uploaded to YouTube, and then you can go on a website called uh, Monk Music, M-U-N-K. CK, it's uh, monk-music.com. And uh, you can check out some of their recordings um, live at the 2022 Peach Music Festival. You can get the whole recording uh, from either $15 or $20. I'm sure they have, you know, different audio listening levels. They have those, um, those FLAC files or whatever they're called that you can listen to. Um, but yeah. Concerts from Chicago and Nashville, Macon, Georgia, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Asheville, all over the country that you can listen to and sample the music of this uh, very energetic version of the Allman Brothers, because that's what it is. The set list, check out the set list here. It includes Ain't Wasting Time No More, Trouble No More, Melissa, Blue Sky, Stand Back, Mountain Drums, One Way Out. So you're getting all of the music that basically you don't hear number one on the radio anymore. And number two, these are all the songs that the Allman Brothers would play live. And the Allman Brothers, let's just be honest, they were one of the great live bands of all time. And they also feature this guitarist. His nickname is Taz. Uh, he's known as Brandon uh, neater hour in real life. That's his real name. Um, but everybody is talking about this guy, Taz, who's just an amazing guitar player. And um, you can also go on YouTube to listen to the Peach Festival set back from last June. It is phenomenal. And it showcases a band that's an up and coming band that has the spirit of the original band and is moving it forward into the future. That's how you save classic rock. And people have to just accept this notion that either <clears throat> the guy is dead, he's sick and can't do what he used to do, um, or he's retired, that's the other one they mentioned. And it's tough for people that like older music. Um, and my guess is these guys will probably put together some new material at some point. That would be my prediction. They don't have to, but they probably will. And that will keep the older fans happy with the um, playing of the older material, but the newer fans probably want to hear some new stuff. And again, this might be a way to someday make a return to radio. You know, when radio finally comes to its senses, I don't know when that's going to happen or if it's going to happen, but I'd love to hear a band like Trouble No More on a real classic rock station, not a station playing Five Finger Death Punch or Disturbed, okay? Those bands <clears throat> might be good for some folks. You can put them in a category, but it's not classic rock. This is classic rock, and this is how you save it. So kudos to... Um, this gentleman, um, C.J. Strzok, that came up with this idea, I'm sure he just wanted to keep the legacy going, and uh, most of us do as well. So anyway, um, keeping the legacy going in the country of Greece, is this band super vintage? You can check them out. They do sound a little bit like the Almond Brothers. Um, they kind of have their own thing, but they're really trying to uh, keep that American sound that <clears throat> Southern rock sound. They're trying to keep it going. 
So kudos to them. Kudos to Trouble No More. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. If you want notifications on new videos, you can sign up for memberships on YouTube, which is pretty cool. And you can also join me over on Patreon for discussion where uh, people will post things and other people will respond to those things. It's a pretty interesting system. Uh, but if you want to talk about, you know, classic rock and uh, what state it's in currently right now, it's not in a great state, but um, hopefully it will make a comeback at some point. All right, folks, thanks again, and I will see you soon.